Hi guys, back again. Um, I hope you really enjoyed that. I, you know, the, the bits that I listened to, I just thought was absolutely amazing. Anyone stay up for the football last night? No one? No one stayed up for the football? Um, oh, you did. Oh, I know, it was devastating. I'm actually, as you can probably tell by my accent, Scottish Chinese. And of course, even though Scotland is not in the World Cup, I've been supporting England. I've been completely devastated with the, with the results. So anyway, next time. Up next, we've got a company that has developed smart and automated data discovery solutions for government, healthcare, business, and industry. Sharing how they're uncovering unknown unknowns from data. Can you welcome to stage, please, um, Car Clara De co-founder and CEO, Robin Pullman. Thank you. So, hello everyone. Uh, I only have about 11 or 12 minutes, so let's just r jump uh, right into it. So, I want to start off with a couple of examples of what advanced data analytics is already capable of today. And I want you to think about what all of these have in common. So let's start with individualizing patient care in hospitals by improving patient care pathways, not only saving millions of euros in operational costs for hospitals, insurance funds, or social security funds. But most importantly, it improves patient outcomes as well. So next up is how about analyzing millions upon millions of unstructured uh, police observation reports to, for example, detect human trafficking gangs, arrest them, and bring them to justice. Um, the next one in line with this, but technically speaking not the same at all, is analyzing social media to identify uh, threats to society in the form of, for example, terrorism acts or social unrest. So not sure if the next one will help you out, but improving um, or saving millions of euros in business process improvement in large industrial organizations has very little to do with terrorism and hospitals in the end, right? So, and then as a last example, I want to take this one, and that is uh, helping tax authorities increase the accuracy of audit target selection by over 35%. So here is the question, like, what do all of these have in common? Like, at first sight, they're all in different sectors, right? They all use different kinds of data, different domain experts are involved, but they share one common denominator that determined its success. And that is that all of them use the same Clarida Technologies advanced analytics platform. So this is not a talk about any one of those use cases at all. It's rather a talk about what can be done when the right tools are being used by the right people. And of course, to reach any sort of success, we first of all have to overcome a whole lot of obstacles. And that is not just organizations, but startups as well. And there are so many obstacles that you can take as an example, but let's start with a couple of, that I find real prevalent. And that is, no matter what image you might hold of data analytics or AI at the moment, big data is usually nicely correlated with a big mess. I mean, you have data quality issues, you have difficulties of linking data sets, you have just meaningless attributes, and so on. So I like to compare it with, with these piles of bricks here. Like, inherently speaking, data doesn't have much value at all. It doesn't have meaning at all in itself. So the right value, however, can be created if you're combining the right skills with the right tools. So in this case, with a whole pile of bricks, you can build a nice building. Same story for data. OK, next one. Is, this one is pretty obvious, right? And that is that most people these days in analytics, they focus on a really targeted search. They're trying to answer a specific question or validate an hypothesis. But in reality, most real value is just simply hidden. People don't look at it because they don't even know which question to ask. They don't know what to even look for. So therefore, they cannot even start looking for it. And then, and this one is one that mainly applies to startups. At first sight, OK, I see it. It's not very, very obvious now, but uh, Data analytics, especially these days in the world of data science, AI, machine learning, 
advanced data analytics and so on, it all became one big blur. Like, uh, and, and the problem is that the general population doesn't really understand uh, these different techniques and how they are useful depending on their objectives. So all is the same, especially at this moment, the big buzz is all about AI, right? AI is going to solve everything. But honestly speaking, this is not true at all. You know, you, you have to understand the differences. And I like to compare this to sports. Like for most people, this is very obvious. Like swimming is not the same as running. But this, the, the, this thing doesn't apply to data analytics at all. So we have to always to climb a mountain of awareness and educate the people to understand the differences between all these techniques and so on. So next up is that, and this one is of particular interest, and that is that domain experts, they have all the knowledge. They have, they have a solid understanding of their domain. They understand it, okay? But then you have the problem that if these people want to advance their field of interest through the use of, for example, data analytics, they face the obstacle that they are not programmers. They don't know how to, how to make sense of all the data and do something new. And this really goes hand in hand with the next, uh, the next obstacle that is faced. And this is one of the most pressing issues constantly being repeated by companies. And that is the fact that um, we have a very limited number of data scientists available, especially the highly qualified ones that can actually do these advanced projects. And not only that, but even if you can find these data scientists, which is becoming increasingly more and more difficult, even if you have large budgets to spend, the problem remains that these people still don't have any domain knowledge or experience. So they cannot, uh, they cannot interpret all of the data of a given field. I mean, take the example of the cardiologist. Uh, who's going to understand their field best? Is it the cardiologist or is it the data scientist? But we have the problem. Okay, so to sum up all of, these, all of these issues, I would say that it's the inability of organizations to use all of their available data to its maximum potential that leads to massive avoidable losses of all kinds. So be it losses in the form of capital losses, be it business process inefficiencies, or, uh, or uh, let's say just simply hidden knowledge that remains untouched, and worst of all, even human losses. All right, so of course, I wouldn't be standing on the stage today if all I was able to do is speak about the many obstacles that, that companies face, right? I mean, we at Clarity that Technologies have been building solutions for the past nine years to tackle at least some of these problems. And we want to make really advanced data analytics available to everyone, not just the data scientists. And for us, one of the most important parts is to convert a domain expert, like for example the cardiologist, into a domain expert, uh, in, sorry, into a data scientist as well. So they should be able to interpret all of this data as well. So that's one big thing. And in order to do that, we need to make advanced data analytics accessible to these people. So what does that mean? I mean, it can mean many things. But first of all, we don't need to. We, don't, we cannot expect them to go and get schooled again for five years right? and transform themselves into a programmer to then go back and analyze their data after five years. So instead, what we figured is, how about they train for a couple of days using the right tools, and then they can start analyzing their data immediately. Okay? And in line with that too, is especially related to AI, is that it requires a lot of computing resources. But let's be honest. None of us have a supercomputer standing around in the basement. I mean, <laughs> it's physically impossible. But then again, um, one of the key aspects is that people should run these programs, this advanced analytics, on just standard commercially available hardware. Okay, just a simple laptop, in other words. So another key point of making advanced data analytics work in organizations is you have to have some sort of traceability. You need to be able to answer the question why you arrived at a certain conclusion. And this is a, I mean, most of you probably know that this is a shortcoming of AI, that it's just a black box regime. You don't really know what is happening inside, but a certain conclusion comes out anyway. But the problem is that if you're dealing with, for example, real life cases that have a real impact on people, 
you cannot really afford to not know how you came to a conclusion to begin with. So this traceability is extremely important to make advanced data analytics work in organizations. And then lastly, what we figured is important is making sure that we offer a general intelligence solution with a wide range of possible use cases. So that means basically that in the same organization, with the same software tools, you can, you can create so many different use cases. A cardiologist, for example, he should be able to individualize um, the care pathways or care processes for heart failure patients, for example. But at a different level in the organization, so let's take at management level, they might be doing something completely different. Let's say they have patient feedback forms and they want to analyze that to identify areas for process or quality improvement in the hospital. So both things are completely unrelated. But the way we see it is we want to enable everyone to, to do something meaningful with their respective data in their respective field of interest in the same organization. So then the last slide, I'm going to speak a bit about clarity technologies. Well, I went a bit too fast here, but let's go back. So, as I said, what we do is making advanced data analytics accessible to just about everyone. And key to that is, to us at least, it's combining the domain knowledge with the power of software to make sense of this huge bulk of data. And as I started in my previous slide, we have organization-wide intelligence. It's a term that we use. And what that basically means is just that over the entire organization, we want to introduce intelligence, not just in some parts of the organization. So I use this very, very simple graphic. I mean, you can go to our website, go to the page of, of uh, organization-wide intelligence, and you have a really serious infographic, but uh, for this purpose, is enough. So these days, most companies, what they are doing is next to nothing, or completely nothing in the field of advanced data analytics or AI. So they essentially remain completely in the dark, like no people are involved and zero use cases in the organization. And then we have those companies that start to be interested in the field and they start to develop some sort of use cases, but it's always in very specific areas of the organization. It's essentially they're just shining a tiny light in some parts, but the rest just remains dark as well. So that's, that's the point where we want to go. That's what organization-wide intelligence and general intelligence is all about. And that is we want to shine a light on the entire organization, right? Of course, you cannot, you cannot improve everything, so there are always these small dots that remain in the dark, but we want to shine a light on the entire organization. Enable organization to make sense of all of their available data and introduce general intelligence there. So, just some features on, on our product is, in order to make it so accessible to all of these people, I mean, these are not programmers, these are domain experts. It has to be a simple point-and-click system. No queries need to be written, no programming is needed whatsoever. Just point and click, that's it. Then the next thing is, and I don't have to repeat this again, and it is in the first slide, I started off with all of these use cases and I asked you guys to think about what all of them have in common. But we have built up a proven success in, in, uh, in multiple sectors and very, very diverse use cases. And, I mean, this just goes to show that we don't just provide a solution for one specific problem for one specific sector. Once again, we go for general intelligence. Any sector, any organization, any use case, we are relevant for that. Okay, and then I've been speaking about powerful software and efficient software for, for advanced analytics, but here is a specific example of what I mean with that. So if we take one just standard commercially available laptop, Intel i7, uh, 3.5 gigahertz uh, processor core, just using one of the four available cores, eight gigabytes of RAM, and let's say we have a data set of 100 million data cells containing multi-valued data. So this can be anything, textual documents, or this can be uh, just uh, table data, anything. Um, it takes our software about six seconds to fully scale and convert this entire data set, after which it becomes immediately analyzable. Discovery can start in a matter of seconds, basically, in a data set of 100 million data cells. So I would say on a standard commercially available laptop, using one 
of the four available cores. That's extremely powerful and fast. So it is very efficient. And then, not unimportant for businesses especially, to make advanced data analytics work in an organization is that it should be up and running fast. So our software can be installed in a matter of three minutes, and after these three minutes, you can basically load in your first data sets, start data prep, and start your discovery process. So very important, especially this part in advanced analytics and AI is usually a process that takes many months, even years. And then lastly, and probably um, the most important part of what we do is offering flexibility. We do not require people to look for a specific answer or validate a hypothesis. For us, this is basically looking for a needle in a haystack. Yes, you can do that, but most real value is simply unknown. So instead, what we do, and let's compare it with the big haystack, is look at the bigger picture. So we expose the inherent patterns in the data and let the domain expert decide which patterns are worth exploring in more detail and which ones aren't. Okay, and this is, in my opinion at least, and the opinion of many of our clients, is that this is where true discovery comes from. And these are where breakthroughs come from. So that's it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you.